Sure, here's a new sequence for these facts in a story format. In the bustling city of Milltown, a group of young girls gathered in the park, giggling and chatting away. Among them was Emily, a bright and sociable girl who seemed to effortlessly navigate the complexities of their social circle. There was no surprise, after all, girls tend to develop social skills earlier than boys, thanks to differences in brain development and socialization patterns. One afternoon, as the girls sat on a bench, sharing stories and secrets, Emily noticed something interesting. The way they expressed their emotions differed from the boys she knew. Girls, she realized, often express emotions more openly than boys, a trait influenced by societal expectations and cultural norms that encourage women to be more emotionally expressive. Emily, being naturally empathetic, was curious about the differences in empathy between genders. Research suggested that women tend to score higher on measures of empathy compared to men, possibly due to differences in brain structure and hormone levels. This made sense to Emily, as she often found herself attuned to the feelings of those around her. As the girls continued their lively conversation, Emily couldn't help but notice how they communicated. Women, she knew, often use more words and nonverbal cues in communication compared to men. They also tend to engage in more collaborative and supportive conversational styles, something she appreciated about her friends. The topic then shifted to risk perception and Emily shared her thoughts. Studies had shown that women generally perceive risks differently than men. They may be more cautious and risk-averse in certain situations, which can influence decision-making. This resonated with Emily, as she often found herself weighing the risks and benefits of various choices. The conversation took a turn when one of the girls mentioned body image issues. Emily knew that women were more likely than men to experience body image issues and dissatisfaction with their physical appearance. This, she understood, was influenced by societal standards of beauty and media portrayals of idealized bodies. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the park, Emily reflected on the day's conversations. She realized that while there were differences between genders in various aspects of psychology, each person was unique. Empowering girls and women, she believed, could lead to profound psychological benefits, including increased self-esteem, resilience, and a sense of agency. With these thoughts in mind, Emily stood up, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. She knew that challenging traditional gender norms and embracing individuality could lead to greater freedom of expression and fulfillment for everyone. Does this sequence work better for you? 